Ahlan wa sahlan mtazamaji wa Audi TV. Karibu tena katika Arocho Live kipindi chako ambacho huwa kinapatia magwiji wetu wa michezo nafasi ya kuweza kujieleza. Na hii leo ni bahati ilioje. Tuko na rais wa Gormaya Ambrose Dixon Otieno Rachel. President, oui. Comment ça va? Oh, je vais très bien, hein, ah. et vous? Eh, je très contente. Oui. Um, Nimefurahia sana kuwa na wewe hapa. Asante sana. Kwanza huyu Ambrose Dixon Otieno Rachel ni nani kwanza? Wa Kenya wangependa kujua huyu ni nani hasa? Basi mimi kwanza mimi ni Mkenya nilizaliwa mwaka wa arobaine na tisa karne iliyopita nilizaliwa kwenye gari la Moshi third class wow. usiku kwa hivyo naitwa Otieno <laughs> na babangu walikuwa kasisi wow. Reverend Canon Rachel lovely mama Ludia Aoko Rachel alikuwa mwalimu wa Kiswahili na mwalimu wa hesabu kwenye uh, primary school mm -hmm. local okay basi hao ndio wazazi na mimi nimezaliwa katika familia ya, ya watoto kumi na wawili uh, wawili wameaga na kumi wako uh, hai moja nimemzika tu siku tatu iliyopita kutokana sana. na janga hili la corona pole sana asante sana mm -hmm. now chairman um, other than the fact that uh, you've been in the game Kenyans would like to know first of all uh, the success what's the secret uh, you're the most successful um, premier league uh, chairman currently and you're the longest serving um, kpl chairman what is your secret well uh, that's a very very difficult question to uh, to answer but uh, to me it's all about uh, leadership the quality of leadership now what brings about the quality of leadership first thing is tolerance a leader must be criticized a leader is usually abused and ridiculed in many many ways so even as a president you need tolerance to be able to lead your people the second thing is about wisdom be all the time considerate try to understand people try to understand who is a person and how does a person respond to different situations for example if you are leading a committee people are quarreling do you take sides or don't you take sides or do you just become an advisor so that wisdom of trying to do the correct thing whenever there is some kind of uh, crisis is an important thing. The third thing is about industry. You must be able to work and work extra extra time. The fourth thing that I, I could say about is integrity. integrity. Integrity is central. In the sense, for example, if you look at Gorma here, football club, if I were the person who was pilfering the funds, stealing money and not being accountable, I should have been thrown out long ago. But I dare say that in the 13 years that I have led Gorma here, you will not point a finger at me and say, Mr. Achia today took money or put his hands in the till. So integrity is another very important part in uh, any kind of leadership. But above all, uh, this, this is something that I, I, I really want to, to say, is that try to understand the people you deal with, the strength and the weaknesses. I'm drawing two lines. One among the people you lead who are, for example, if you're the president, the populace, the citizenry. Okay. And if it is Gorma here, the members, the fans, understand them and see that how do you relate with them. I think those are some of them. I would say exhaustively okay. that that is uh, the, the secret behind whatever success that I have been able to attain. Before we delve much into, into the game and into uh, Gormaya as a team, uh, we'd also like to know how do you balance the two? A uh, very successful law firm and uh, handling one of the biggest clubs in the country. How, how do you juggle the two? 
Yes, you really have to allocate time to each and every one of them so that uh, uh, one does not become a detriment to the other. In fact, more. I did not tell you that I teach wow. at Strathmore University. Good. I teach a master's class, uh, an MBA class on health law and policy. Then I teach land law to the undergraduate uh, uh, school. I also chair three, uh, uh, I participate in three ethics committees, that is at Kemri. Wow. I'm the chairman of the Kemri, the Kenya Medical Research Institute Ethics Committee. Okay. The vice chair of the Strathmore University Ethics Committee. Wow. And a member of the Aga Khan University Ethics Committee, apart from being a member of the board of Nairobi School uh, in, in, in Kenya here. So there are many where places I am chairing. There's another organization, Kelin, that I also chair. Okay. Now, with all these, you have to allocate time and you can actually do all of them. I repeatedly use the word president. I don't want to be president of Kenya. But if you're president of Kenya, how many things are you dealing with? And you must be able to attend to each and every one of them. So there is the issue of time allocation. I have talked about being industrious. Don't be lazy. Okay. And you must be fit. Wow. You must keep good health. If you don't keep a good health, you will be weighed down or you can just collapse and die because the pressure of God alone can actually send you to your grave. So you allocate uh, time, you remain, keep yourself healthy, try to keep yourself in good health, then where possible, delegate. Delega delegation is an important aspect in administration. So that when you have a treasurer, let the treasurer deal with treasure issue, treasury sure, issues. Yeah, money issues. Money issues. Okay. If you have got the secretary general, let the secretary general deal with those issues. You have a team manager. Uh, you have a coach. So to each, allow them So, to so basically, mm. uh, delegation, is, delegation. Is, is, is key. It's key. But, but, but before we take a break, uh, I, I'd, I'd like also to understand uh, something that has been happening at Gorma here. Gormaya, you lose a lot of players, um, the dancer Unkumas of this world, uh, the Khalid Auchos of this world, but uh, ha, we've not really seen Gormaya making money out of their players. What is the problem? Oh. And um, what is the, 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 the financial stream, the income, other than gate collections? How does Gormaya make uh, its ends meet? Because at times we... we we see Gormaya begging for money most of the times when you're traveling and all that. And someone wonders, why is it that Gormaya is always on the reds as far as finances are concerned? Oh, thank you very much for asking that question. I was actually looking forward to get to that, that question. Let me first of all deal with their, their recruitment and loss of players, which is very frequent. Uh, it's all based on financial constraints that we go through. In other words, when I took over from the club, uh, we had a begging bowl at that time, completely begging bowl. I'll tell you how we got out of that morass. But before that, what happens is that the football industry has a market. And any time that there is a window period, there's player mobility. And they can go anywhere, particularly if they are what we call free agents. How, how, how does that come to that uh, right. point? That comes because the point. Ma mo ma most of your members feel that you let good players mm -hmm. run through uh, their contract, and once the contract has, uh, has, has elapsed, they move as free agents. Yet, when you want to get players, you have to get uh, money to buy them. That is exactly the problem. Because as soon as you have recruited a player who is a quality player, talk about Jacques uh, Tuisenge. Now, what happens is that they have a contract. And before the contract is over, you will have people doing what is called player tapping. They are already knocking the door of the player, telling them, look, when your contract ends, and that is what has happened to all our players who have gone to Simba or who have gone down south. They always wait until the contract is over. But they, in advance, approach these players and tell them, look, I am going to pay you 400,000 shillings by way of salary while we are paying them, say, 200,000 or 150,000. That's what I was talking about market. Okay. That in the market, at that time, 
there are people who can go anyway and they already know before the contract is over that they are likely to get from Simba 400,000 shillings. So as all they are doing is actually going through their contracts and waiting so that when the contract is over, you, you, they go and you can't stop them at that time. So it's demand so and it's supply. It's demand and supply okay. and it's a question of market forces. Okay. So it's not our own carelessness or our own recklessness. On a few occasions when the players have left midway uh, the, the, their contracts, what has happened is that uh, we have been paid. We sold uh, Walusimbi uh, who went away. We, we sold, got money from uh, Jacques Tuisenge. We got very good money from that. Uh, there was uh, Ephraim Guikan. So there are places where we have got money. But most of our competitors time the expiry period. Sometimes we are able to squeeze something, but most occasions they go free completely. So it's not out of, out of our own carelessness. And because we are unable to compete, we cannot match. You, you got it. That it is a question of market forces, the, the demand. supply, and, and demand. the demand. I okay. think that is the best way that I could put at it. Now, the question of our financial constraints is something that has to do with uh, our budget and also income. Put them side by side. Uh, first, in order to attract quality players, you have to pay competitive sign-on fee. That is something you, you, have, you have to do. So every time, like now, the window is open, uh, you find that we may have be having no money. So we take what we can afford and try to mold and build and build on them. Our sources of income, merchandise, forget about it, because it's killed by piracy. Uh, whenever we manufacture uh, uh, merchandise, like you know, jerseys, etc., you bring them here, sell them at two five, two thousand five hundred shillings. But somebody rushes to China and brings some that they sell at 800 shillings. Most gold fans would be content to have uh, a green jersey and put their, put, put their name. Why go for 2,500 where you can buy three of them? Okay. So that is what has killed our merchandise uh, uh, industry. But we have recently introduced intellectual property rights by registering trademarks that we hope, hopefully, should be enforceable to be able to protect. Our, our, our income in that regard. Okay. Now, this time, I want to put it this way, that because of COVID, you know, our fans are prevented from going to the stadium. So we have lost a big stream of revenue. Okay. And income. that has okay. got a delirious effect in our finances. Okay. The other one is this issue of, 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 of sponsorship. This year, the sponsors have halved, made into half, the amount of sponsorship, also citing the same... Uh, uh, the Corona-19, the, the COVID-19 uh, uh, challenges. Okay. But apart from that, Gore has been in trouble as a result of their success. I want to explain this paradox. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you feel that success has also brought some... Yes, success has been... Our, negatives on your a side. Part, a part of our undoing is success. Okay. Okay. I mean, uh, viewers are maybe surprised about this thing, but let me elaborate. The point is this, that we have been, under my leadership, we've been champions seven times. And as champions, we go to campaign in Africa. There is nobody who provides for our campaign in the African Confederation Cup, either in the Champions League or in the Confederations uh, uh, Cup uh, uh, tournament. Now, what this implies is that for every trip that we make out of this country, we need about six to seven million shillings. And when a team comes to play against us, we need another 3 million. Total is 10 million shillings per return. Per match. Per match. Hall uh, is there, Chairman. Yes. Uh, let's take a break. And Thank then you. when we come back, um, I think we'll open lines for mm -hmm. our viewers also to contribute and, and, and give us questions. Now, mtazamaji, tunavuto onyunyu. Tuko nae mwenye kiti wa klabu ya Gormaya Ambrose Dixon Otieno Racher ambaye anatuangazia tumeangazia maswala ya Gormaia tumefika katika usajili na vile vile udhamini wa timu hii ya Gormaia. Tunavuta unyunyu mdosio kwa mrefu tunarejea kwa kipindi cha pili cha Rocho Live na Ambrose Dixon Otieno Racher. Usikae mbali.
kabisa mtazamaji karibu tena kipindi cha pili tuko naye Ambrose Rachier rais wa Gormaia kikosi cha Gormaia kimetamba nchini Kenya ndio maana leo tumemtembelea eh, mwenyekiti wake tuweze kujua siri na tujue hasa ni nini ambayo anaifanya kuiwezesha Gormaia kutamba na kwa sasa ni wakati wako kumuliza maswali tuwasiliane kupitia Facebook Twitter na vile vile Instagram eh, manake naona maswali yameanza kumiminika wewe ambaye basi ndio unaungana nasi ni wakati wako tuwasiliane niulize swali kupitia Facebook na naona tayari jamaa wameanza kujimwaya mwaya hapa kuna maswali kwa jamaa anajiita uh, Ayub Abdallah Rashid akiwa kwenye Facebook anasema why don't go my leadership come up with a project that can help the club sustain itself uh, without relying on sponsors and fun fun secondly uh, wakili said he was to leave the club leadership when the club has its own playing ground is it still possible for uh, with the financial crisis that the club is experiencing currently uh, i think is they are talking about uh, the stadium uh, yes, yes the, the stadium, stadium and before the pledge you made uh, when you were re-elected yes thank you very much uh, can i answer that question yeah yeah we can yes thank you the, the stadium is an ongoing project we have actually paid now uh, for the land and we are processing the title document and wow. i am determined to ha to break ground before i retire this stadium is going to be in kasarani we have 15 acres of land wow. and we have paid for it if i had good notice i should have displayed the check here wow. to show wow. that it, it it has been done Thank you. now the issue of money uh, which is associated with it we intend to go into a partnership like a joint venture with those who can produce the, the finances and we produce the land and then we have some kind of co-ownership okay. now number two on that one is the question of some project that is income generating this is why we amended the constitution what is popularly known as the jukua constitution to be able like in the case of simba and what we are seeing in tanzania to have an investor to come in join in take about 50 percent of the club or 49 percent and we retain the majority interest so that the the club is able to earn income from commercial sources rather than from get collections and sponsorship alone so we are about just to undertake that okay the next question jacob uh amwis uh amwai uh, sorry is saying uh risala zangu za tambirambi kwa kumpoteza nduguye mpendwa um, ngao wood aoko jacob yeah. amwai jaudhala i think this is uh he's referring to you uh, let bro huo msiba mbao ni kwa hivyo nashukuru sana shukrani kwa rambirambi zako udhalwa tunatoka karibu hapo bwana mwai tulimzika ndugu yangu bwana Walter Mungao Rachel ambaye alikuwa wakili mashuhuri hapa Nairobi alitembelea nyumbani aka uh, ambukizwa na virusi vya corona asante sana arab arab oko otieno uh, from itang arocho uliza chairman alifanya nini team uh, kwa hii season ndio haijafanya vizuri i think there uh, is, is concern uh, the lack of good performance this season and then there's another guy who is saying arocho uh, let the chairman tell us this is uh, merian uh, let the chairman tell us why did they change the constitution uh, and bring in uh, the clause of uh, having a degree as a condition well, the constitution was not an office or an executive constitution. It was the people's constitution. So really, it's very difficult for me to myself say that uh, it's something that uh, we brought as, as such. It, it was a people's constitution. That's why it's called Jukua constitution. It's something that the people brought up. And I would not be able to say, I can only guess that they were trying to look at leadership that is putting a minimum that I think this is a debate that goes on even in Parliament now or a MCA question what should be the qualification for an MCA everybody agrees there must be a qualification you cannot go to leadership if you have not gone to cannot read and or write at the moment okay. so as time goes on people are going to go up maybe diploma or level diploma university degree maybe there are others where you know whenever you see a job being advertised they always say these are the qualifications, the qualifications. so I think the, that was in the mind of the fans I do not want to say whether I agreed or did not ag agree with it, but we put it to the public participation, mm -hmm. and that is what they came up with. There was something I wanted to answer here about uh, somebody from E10. What happened to the club? Nafikiri tumekumbwa na changamoto nyingi sana kutokea mwanzo 
wa mfumo huu wa mpira wa ukandanda hapa 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 Kenya. Kwanza nikizungumzia au nikizungumzia eh, juu ya kitaja juu ya wakufunzi. Tumekuwa na wakufunzi wengi wanakuja wanaenda wanakuja wanaenda wanakuja na wanaenda. Nafikiri hiyo imechangia eh, kuzorota kwa uh, performance yetu. Hapo hapo mwenyekiti eh, kuna mwingine anauliza kwa nini tunabadilisha makocha ila hali eh, tuna kocha mkenya. Kwa nini hauamini makocha wa Kenya? Mwingine pia anasema Josphat Ongwakwa akiwa kule Minneapolis eh, Minnesota America. Uh, good show Arocho. We are so happy that uh, you brought it live. A two patriot for Gormaya, uh, Rachel, good job. That is uh, kudos uh, from Minnesota, America. Um, hmm. uh, why should Rachel not willing to retire, leave room for other people with other ideas? Uh, this is Jimmy Keith Giggs uh, is asking about uh, you leaving Gormaya. Let's start with the, uh, the concern that uh, Gormaya is just... Uh, concerned about bringing in uh, foreign coach, coaches and uh, not local coaches yes uh, that is something that may be uh, quite embarrassing but our experience has shown that the club at the moment still is not ready just to be headed by our, our, our locals at the moment when we give them an opportunity and uh, you I don't want to say this we, we, we try to give that and we always say you know we haven't reached the, the top particularly in our foreign competitions. Locally, we have done it very, very, very well. But when we go out, we think that still we need somebody from out there. It's not just white. I've had a Wono from uh, uh, Cameroon yes. as our, our head coach. So it's not about being white. Mm -hmm. It's about the standards of coaching. And I'm not demeaning Kenyan coaches. The standards of coaching, we still need to really just pull up. We have got very good coaches, people like Robert Matano, Zico, and uh, the uh, Diambo, and uh, I know most of them, uh, uh, they are doing a good job. Uh, but we need also to take them more for training so that they can compete, so that we can also be coaches in other countries. Uh, apart from Michael Nam, who else from Kenya is actually coaching out of, out of, out of, out of here? So we need to uh, hype or hike our standards of coaching around here. It's just a question of color. We go out for these people. Sometimes we bring somebody like Zimaria. He's not a Mzungu. He's not a Mzungu. I told Zimaria was, was black. Polak, you saw him. He was a black man with a British uh, name, but he's a black fellow. So it's to, to us, it is the quality of coaching, not the color. Uh, uh, another message from Atlanta before mm -hmm. we delve into the FKF uh, issue that we ha you had the other day. Uh, that is... Uh, Juma um, Kamau uh, from Atlanta. He's saying that he's watching us all the way from Atlanta. Uh, good job, uh, Rocho. Uh, and uh, oh, uh, good job, Wana Odibets. Uh, we are watching you from Atlanta. Uh, Arocho, ask coach, ask um, uh, Rachier, why is it that uh, there are issues at Gormaya time and time again? And uh, uh, what is the problem with FKF? Yes, before I answer that question, there's a question I really wanted to answer is why the chair does not go away and then... Yes, yes. yes. Right. I, I was quite ready to go away uh, last year. Why, why it not f to be uh, for, for Corona? If you have noticed, this is the first time I was elected and opposed. All the other times I have been always opposed. Last year, I was ready to go, but we came to the nomination of people for chairmanship. There was none. So I had to come in and say, let me, and I knew the reason, the, re the reason was that, you know, we had uh, uh, this uh, corona, and with corona, the finances were completely down, and nobody wanted to, uh, uh, to, to uh, take the challenge. So I said, instead of allowing the ship to sink, as the captain, with me in the, I, I, I couldn't jump out, I had to remain uh, to, to, to steer the ship. That's why I'm there, and I am willing to go away very, very, very soon once um, we stabilize. What is the situation of your suspension? I think this one is basically yes. uh, the FKF issue. Uh, we, don't, we just don't need to know what, how did it begin? The fact that it's the first time that a derby has not play, was not played simply because the two teams did appear into the pitch. Give us yes, a background uh, of yes. what happened. Thank you. I would like the, our, our viewers to really get to understand the genesis of uh, this very, very rare occurrence, the first time that it has actually happened. 
particularly in as far as the derby uh, is concerned. Sometimes people have been having walkovers, but not two teams not turning off completely. The position is this, that we played uh, a cup uh, uh, competition that was called the Confederations, uh, the Bet uh, King Cup that was sponsored by Bet King. And very much to our knowledge, all the money for the preparation, including for the cup, and also for the awards for the winners, had been paid uh, several months before the final. We expected to be paid, as it, it always happens, a dummy check to be presented at the finals for those who have won, and then followed by cash immediately because the money ought to have been there. But at the end, what we had was the cup was presented, yes, but there was no cash. And we demanded this cash eight days. We wrote to the Federation asking, pay Gorma here two million shillings. And I believe AFC also did the same thing. Now, when we got a response, it was like, you know, we'll pay it later in, in the month of August. Now, we were faced with ghost laws. Both teams were faced with ghost laws. In fact, the teams, the players did not believe because we had promised the players. We normally have an incentive to tell them, for example, in this case, that we are going to get two million shillings. One million we will give to the players and the technical bench to share in whatever way that they would like to. And the balance being one million shillings would go to the administrative costs of the, of the office. That was the deal that we had entered into. And the players kind of believed we had received the money. And much as we told them, look, we have not received the money, they said, no, we are not going to play ourselves. So the uh, whole so, thing... So what you're implying is yes. that the pressure uh, came from the players. Uh, it, it was not from the two of you, that no. is you and Dan Shikan. It came from the players, from both sides. And the worst could have happened. The players themselves could have failed to, 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 to turn up. Because they said, look, we, the landlords are locking us out and this money is required, the, you have only paid us part of the salary because the sponsors have only given us part of the money. So our wage bill is something like about 5 million shillings per month. If we get only 2 million shillings from Betsafe, it is not enough to pay even a quarter, uh, just about a quarter of the salary of the players. So we normally s complement this by, for example, money that we get like, uh, you know, cup winning ETC. So. We were doing it for, uh, because we were even scared that the players were not going to, 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 to turn up. It was not to spite the Federation. And if they had the money, and, and, and you saw the following, uh, the following week, almost two, three days after that, they paid, meaning they had the money. What was the reason for they are not paying us the money? So that is the background. Apart from that, there are other claims that we, we, we have, like the... Uh, um, the like income, you know, the youth, nowadays we have to pay the youth team also. There's a youth uh, grant of 500,000 shillings has not been paid as even as they were speaking. And then we have grants which are from the sponsors outstanding, I think three months as I speak now, which have not been paid. Now, how are the funds being away? How then do you, does the Federation expect us to be, just to operate, even to be able to take the to go and play an away match. So this is a matter of concern that the Federation needs to pull up its socks on. That well, is what happened. Well, well, Chairman, I'm seeing a lot of comments and mm. uh, uh, a lot of uh, reactions from uh, our viewers. Uh, I love this guy. Uh, may God bless him. Uh, he's doing a good job at Gorma here. Uh, Jaro Soja. Hey, Jaro Soja. Thank you for watching. Jaro Soja is saying that Arocho, uh, our Chairman, has done, done as a very, very good uh job at gorma here another comment uh someone is saying arocho uh can't can't this to oh i think he means um you guys is it is it possible for you as gorma and fc leopard sit down and talk do you people even communicate because i i asked nick Mendo the same question when i had a, a, a session with him during the press conference when he released I released your suspensions. Do you people converse? Do you talk? Because if you guys were communicating, I don't think we could be could have been here. And uh, another thing is is there's some sort of a confusion. 
uh, your treasurer gave sent a letter uh, wanting the money to be channeled through your account. Uh, then there were allegations that you requested for cash. I, 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 I think you need to shed more light on that. Yes, thank you very much for that good question. Uh, the treasurer's letter preceded mine. I think it was dated 7th and mine was dated 8th of July, 7th July and 8th July. The treasurer did the correct thing that ought to be done normally. The money should go into the account. But I've just talked about the pressure from the players. The difference between the treasurer's letter and mine was that I requested that the money owing to the club ought to go to the account and the money going to the players ought to be paid to the treasurer, the same treasurer whom I named in the letter and I said pick it up and pay it directly to that thing. You can see the pressure. The pressure is where is our money? I was telling them pick it up from the federation. Go pick it. That is the best transparent way you can convince somebody that look we have not received the money go and receive it, get to be accompanied by the treasurer and collect your money. Because 8th is a very crucial date, 7th, a crucial date, because landlords come to raid tenants on the 5th day of the month. So from 5th of July, we had persistent demands from our players and technical bench okay. that we have problems of rent. The pressure was there. Yes. No, so what, what, that is why the treasurer wrote on the 7th. Okay. I improved on it on, on, the, on eighth. the 8th by saying, split it, let them go and pick theirs and give us, put ours in the account. Well taken, Chairman. Yes. What is the way forward? Uh, I, I normally feel very, uh, very, very, very saddened by wrangles into the game. You see the major sponsor left the other day, uh, the title sponsor of the league. What is the way forward? As, as, a, as a senior uh, uh, partner in, into this game, because you've been there long, uh, as a legal mind, what is the way forward? Yes, um, I will say uh, two things, and some of the three things. Uh, these are things that I have I've taken a stand on, but I have been left standing alone and I want to repeat them. My first struggle with the Federation here was on the increasing of the number of uh, teams playing, participating in the league, participating in the league okay. from 16 to 18. I made noise and things went to the tribunal. I was overruled. The result is that Supersport left. And people should remember this. Viewers, Kenyans in football. Was it the reason why? That was the reason. Why, why am I saying so? Super sport left in other African countries. Was it the same reason that uh, uh, prompted that? I would not say about talk about African uh, um, countries, but I know they are still in Africa. I know they are still in Zambia. I know they are still in Ethiopia, or in other in, in, in other countries. In other words, the climate. The football climate, even if I don't cite that one, yes. that particular, the, it, it the, is the, the conducive climate. Yes, the conducive climate. Why would Supersport leave this country? And okay, what's the reason? I have spoken to insiders, and they told me, yes, you gave us an opportunity. Yes, they were, we were, we had mamas here and there, but you gave us an opportunity to leave because we had an exit clause, and one of them was this increase of that thing. So that is one thing is that we need to con to uh, cultivate a conducive environment for the development of football and for the benefit of sponsors. That is one thing that has affected. We are struggling. Why has Bad King, Bad, Bad King left? I have no idea. But they must be having a very good reason related to the management of football in this country. So, so how do you rate the current uh, leadership? Uh, because uh, as you're saying, it seems everything else depends on the environment. Yes. How can you rate the current... I want to come to that. I, you, you, uh, Fred, I want to answer that question after I have said these three, three issues, because it will then uh, really open, uh, give good reason to develop logically. The second thing that I kind of uh, uh, made noise about, about was the uh, taking back of the league from a professional body, the Kenya Premier League Limited, the KPL. All over the world, we know it's a good practice to uh, let out the running, source it out, uh, uh, get it, somebody else to run football, a professional body. That is Bundesliga, that is PSL, that is La Liga, that is Serie A, that is EPL, that is, EPL, that is what is happening. Why are we talking a retrogressive step of taking this uh, leadership of running of 
the top league to the federation. That is, to me, something that ought not to have happened. I was the last man standing on that thing, and that is one of the leadership of the federation thinks that I'm always just a trouble, a troublemaker. These are the problems that are bringing us down. The league should be run by some professional body, even if it's not KPL, let them have another professional body to run it. It takes away the burden. It takes away the embarrassing things like, you know, uh, um, sponsors walking, uh, walking out. Now, the third thing, of course, is what I've been talking about, that the rights of uh, club rights. These rights have been taken over by the, by the Federation. The same, same chairman yes, who yes. signed this, uh, this deal, because I remember initially, as the season was uh, just to begin, uh, I remember there were clubs that uh, hesitated to sign. It was, Gormai was not one of the, of the clubs. But having said that, um, uh, let's also... I, I, know, I, know want, I know I want to answer your question, the last one. Think, what, what was the issue? There's some very interesting question you posed. Why is... The, how do you rate... Yes. The current yeah, office thank has you. been there for one and a half, uh, uh, it's one and a half term. How can you rate them? And before that, let us let me pick a reaction here. Zach Oguda is Jack. mentioning, Zachary Jack. Oguda okay. uh, is uh, making a, an observation, observation there. Uh, Barry Obel, they're all making the same observation, but you, these are my colleagues in the fourth estate. Okay. You will pardon me, we are not going to uh, mention uh, yeah. that correction. There's a reason why. Um, how can you rate the current office? I think this is the worst that we have ever had. I joined football. I started watching football in 1964 uh, in this country, even before uh, Gormahia was, was established. There was a federation. And I have seen many, many things. Of course, there have been wrangles here and there. But the football is at its lowest ebb. And that Why is do you say so? And just the other day, we, we, we were having sponsors uh, both the the, the branding, uh, the, the, the the beaming sponsors, and uh, and 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 and, and, and uh, the, the sponsor that that just left. Why are you saying so? Uh, my reason is this: you will see that this the president of this federation was elected not just one and a half years ago. Before he has had a term before. Yes. This is his, his second, second term, term yes. and this is when these two tragedies have happened. So well, you think he performed well in his first? Time. No, he did not, because he chased away, he chased away uh, super sport, and this has led to a lot of financial constraints. We have not had the best sponsor we've had was super sport. These other sponsors have normally come in, but they have struggled, as you have, uh, uh, as may be seen. They, they, they have struggled, and uh, until one has walked away, just this contract was signed in July last year, much against much to my chagrin. I opposed it, and in the end, I was the one left standing with Bob Manro and uh, and and and, and uh, Ochiang of of, of Zucaricho of, of, of Zucaricho. Yes. Yes. Then we were bulldozed. What do you mean bulldozed, Chairman? Well, we were the one last person standing. You looked at the the, 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 the sore thumb that was standing out there that was preventing <laughs> soccer from moving, that was bringing soccer into disrepute. Uh -huh. Even that time, I was charged with bringing soccer into disrepute for refusing to sign that contract. Just as now, I am being charged with dispute and being suspended for, <laughs> for demanding uh, payment of two million shillings, which was subsequently paid. Then I am being told that, you know, I am bringing soccer into this dispute. What is, the way, what is the way forward as far as this is concerned? Because I'm seeing the national team is coming up. Uh, yeah. In the next two or three weeks, we are playing on the second uh, against uh, Uganda. Then we move to Rwanda in Kigali on the seventh. How can we have this situation? First of all, I thank you very much. You've just given me something to talk about. <laughs> How is the national team performing? Or any other team? What have we ever won <laughs> under <laughs> this leadership of ours? What have we won as Kenya? Kenya was a high flying. Days when people were playing, even without sponsorships, UTC, all, all, all those days. We were known for soccer in the nation. Where are we at the, at, at the moment? We're being beaten by, uh, what is this country, Comoros? Being beaten by, eliminated by, by, by Comoros, whose population is not even of, of game location or <laughs> Ndeya location somewhere here. Beating Kenya. That, those, those are the yardsticks. Those are the measurements that you should use to, to, to look at performance. So I'm saying soccer is at its lowest ebb. The league is mismanaged completely. Just look at it this way. We have Corona, 
Yes. But with Corona, you are now not getting teams to come to play in Akuru. The Western teams, where are they getting the money, additional money to come and play in Akuru? Do you think about, and if you don't turn up, you are warned and be told that, you know, you are bringing soccer into disrepute. It's the new offense in the <laughs> mouths of, of, of the leaders of, of this country. So even you holding this, uh, holding this uh, show here and uh, uh, putting in some anything unpalatable, yeah, please, you might just be disciplined also for this oh, kind of... Oh, oh, someone yeah. might discipline us. Yeah, yeah, you might be disciplined. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let's move on. Let's move back to, uh, as we wind up, let's move back, move, move back to Gorma here. Yes. Um, last season, Yes. No, this season, the season that we're just ending, yes. was not a good season for Gorma. Very bad. Uh, my team, KCB, played so well. And uh, currently the two teams, that is KCB and, uh, and Tasca, are in contention. Yes. What do you think, where did you go wrong this season? And what do you, what do you see, uh, uh, how do you see Gormaia performing in the subsequent seasons? Yes, I want to be fairly objective. I think, uh, first of all, the turnover of coaches has not done us any good and what was the cause of the turnover let me start with steve pollack steve pollack went away because there was no football going on here so he said why should i be earning money here because at that time there was a total ban on soccer so he said what am i doing in this country let me go back to to my country maybe if you need me i will come back and that's how he went but you know, the team was still there we were not practicing anywhere we were not training anywhere and then the next first thing we brought was a, a coach from Brazil. And the, the coach from Brazil was knocked out because he did not have uh, CAF A. Uh, and how did that happen, Chairman? How did you bring in a coach who didn't have papers, yet he knew very well uh, that God, God, God is going to participate in the continent? Very good question. This person was a coach in, uh, uh, for a long time, coaching in Rwanda, and actually coached to the African level. It's only the rules that changed that they upped the status of that license. And we thought that from there, all we are going to do was to do equalization. Okay. When he came in to do equalization, he was told, look, he had to go and uh, go and do it in, in his own country, in Brazil. When he went there, there was corona. He couldn't go and do any, any kind of exam. So that happened and it, it went, uh, yeah. So what happened is that, uh, what happened is that he, he, uh, he had to go because he could not go through the equalization. The third thing that we, we, we had then was uh, Vaspinto. Now, Vaspinto has gone for two good reasons. One is uh, that, of course, having taken that trophy, he was all over the Portuguese news as a great coach, and uh, now all the close clubs were running for him. When we ourselves had also financial challenges, we could only pay him part of his salary. So, and third thing, of course, he had family issues. So, Really, that has had an effect, a negative effect, in terms of our own uh, uh, performance. Um, the other thing that I would uh, attribute to that is, of course, uh, the loss of players that we, some quality players we had, yes. because we could not compete in the market, as I say, and I like your, the, the word you used, uh, uh, supply and uh, demand. Okay. Yeah, we were beaten at that level, so that if you see our attacking is not very, very, it's not good at all, actually. So at, at, at the moment, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not demeaning the players who are there, but uh, our attacking, we, we got more of midfielders rather than straight uh, attackers. And the, the young man whom we brought to be an attacker, Benson Omala, was taken, in, uh, taken for a, a loan in uh, Europe and was so ill-treated that he is back. But he can't play for us because those guys are not releasing him. So those are some of our, 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 our challenges, apart from uh, what we say, the financial challenges. You always hear about the go slow, go slow, go slow. We are competing. If you look at the two teams, what is common about them, the two leading teams? What is common about them? They belong to corporate, the corporate world. One is a bank and another one is uh, brewery. So it's difficult. Even if they were not paying as well as we are paying, but their, the salary is assured. Yeah, and, they, and they have no problem. Like they, You will not hear about a go slow in KCB. You will not hear about a go slow in, in, in Tasca. So we have had a troubled uh, uh, season okay. because of financial challenges that we have. And I want to put it that way. The same thing with, with AFC Leopard. That's why we are on fourth and fifth there. 
apart from the docking, uh, uh, the, 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 the points, the spurious. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what should your fans expect from uh, the team uh, and do you have any players that you brought in uh, because we've not really had uh, the players that you brought in and how come you bring in substandard foreign players if yes. I may use that word yes a very good very good word I told you to be to be brave and just ask questions you see if you if you give uh, convincing answers to our viewers our, our, our stakeholders I think it is better to do it that way so please do not hesitate to ask. Now, number, number one, we are not only facing the ban of the chairman or the suspension of the chairman, but we are also basing, uh, facing the FIFA ban on registration of new players. That is why you cannot hear of any, any, we are stopped. I actually have a letter from the Federation saying you are banned from recruiting until you pay out uh, those who, are, who have, not been, have not been paid. Now, we've paid out, uh, we've de sorted out with Steve Pollack. We've been uh, sorted out with NAPSA because we were also charged for damaging the, uh, the stadium or items in the stadium in Zambia when we played uh, uh, NAPSA. NAPSA, NAPSA when we played yes. NAPSA, who have since been relegated yes. uh, in their own uh, countries. It's good for our, our viewers to know that our so called uh, uh, vict uh, victors uh, are, are, are themselves have gone to relegation. That tells you something about. What we were, our people, our players were protesting against, officiating, uh, the nature of officiating. But I don't want to digress uh, so much. We still have outstanding issues with two players. One is called uh, Jackson Ambundo, another one is called Shafiq Batambuze, who insist that we must pay them in full. Uh, believe that when we are able to pay them in full, the door will be open for us to be able to do registration. I think the window period is open for three months from now, we should be able to announce that at that time because we don't want to breach uh, the law. Now, just remind me, the last question was on um, something you asked me. You asked me. Yes. Uh, I, 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 substandard. Substandard yes. players. Because you bring in players who, if you ask me, we have better players in yes. Kenya mm. uh, who can uh, fill that uh, vacuum. Yes, I have got, a, I got, I got an answer for that. Uh, two things. Um, because I, I, for purposes of respect, I, I don't want to call them substandard because the people are still with us here. When they get, we got about four matches to go or three matches to go, I should not denigrate the players by calling them substandard. So I want to say that we, they have done their best. But what happens in recruitment of players, there is an institution called agents. I don't want to condemn them wholesome. But some of them really are the ones responsible for this. Because you see, in their marketing, they will really praise somebody. And there's something called video. Sometimes you only look at somebody through a video tape that comes to you. And from there, you try to make a judgment and say, oh, but really, they normally choose the best moment, maybe when somebody is scoring, or, and that is what is sent to you. So you have no way of assessing the foreign player in full. We never have sufficient time to have them here to, for trials the way it is done. So we fail on trials. One, others tell you point blank, we are not going to come for trials. So you have to choose whether to take the risk or not to take the risks. Usually you find that maybe they are hiding something. They say, no, the player is so well known. He's in the national team. We cannot, we are not coming to, to waste time there for, 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 for trial. And they would, they overrate them. And they are sweet talkers also. So that is what has led us to some of the people that, even me, when I come in, I say, look, okay, he's a good player, but it's not the one we are looking for. Let me talk about the position of striking. The strikers are very rare and are also very, 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 you, you, can, you can tell this is a good striker. But people normally confuse a striker and you know, an attacking midfielder. So sometimes we end up, the, the ones we have are just midfielders, but not finishers. I, I want to put it that way, to, okay. just, just to draw a distinction. They are very good players. Um, one of them they refer to as an, as an athlete because he runs quite a bit around there and harass the defenders, but he does not score. Okay. Is, is Chairman, uh, we, the last uh, sentiment, I think in a minute or so, uh, I'd like you to address your fans in any language you feel comfortable uh, in. Uh, that is your camera. Kindly address your fans uh, as uh, we finish the season in preparation for the next season. Yeah. Uh, lugha ya Kiswahili ijapokuwa uh, wingi wa 
mashabiki wetu wanatoka pale ambao watu wanakula samaki sana uh, nataka kuhakikishia kwamba msikate tamaa ijapokuwa tumechukua na changamoto jinsi tumeangazia uh, hapa kwenye kipindi hiki ni kwamba bado msife uh, moyo kwa kuwa kuteleza sio kuanguka najua tumeteleza na jinsi tumeeleza katika kipindi hiki ni kwamba uh, tumekuwa na changamoto nyingi ambayo tumesababisha kutuchukua ligi mwaka huu nimeyataja sitaki ni yarudie wakati huu tunashughulikia usajili upya ya uh, wachezaji ili kujaza pengo ambazo tumekuwa nazo katika timu kwa hivyo kwa mfumo inayokuja nataka kuwa uh, hakikisha ya kwamba uh, tutajitahidi kwenye kuwa taji ya uh, league tunaomba mtusaidie hasa katika mpango ambao tuko naye uh, ya kuchanga pesa ya one dollar a day akwayo jogormantie imuluie kikchunyu ae watch mpira mwa ngodo timu wa ngodo ageno ni tungu ni musebetie mumono wa kao league wa biro loso kendo higa manyien wan gadira ni wabucha ko duogo mon wa bedie na baba kuongo gikose kendo tungu ni ase ya loka ase wa choka eni kik anuogi et pour euh, notre enfant qui vient d'être part des, des, des pays, je veux vous assurer que euh, n'ayez pas peur. Je suis certain que l'année prochaine, on va jouer bien et on va gagner comme toujours, comme d'habitude. Vous savez que dans les dix ou euh, 12 mois 12, 12 ans que je suis président de euh, ce club euh, nous avons gagné euh, cette fois ça va continuer et je veux vous assurer merci ah merci euh, monsieur le président la gormaya merci. Euh, monsieur Uh, Ador, uh, Ambrose, Dixon, Otieno, Rachier. And thank you once again for uh, having an opportunity to welcome uh, uh, us into your lovely office. Thank and uh, all the best with Gormaya and all the best. Are you still in um, politics uh, down no. back at home? No, I am not. I stopped politics in the year 2007. Okay. And uh, God forbid. Why are you saying God forbid? Well, I am over 70 and that's why I'm called Mugabe. Uh, Mugabe because uh, one I don't so, want to live. So you don't mind being called Mugabe. No, no, I like the name. <laughs> I like the name and uh, God rest his soul. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. So um that's one of the reasons that I really I, I don't need pressure at age 72. Okay. At the moment I'm 72 years of age but I am young at heart. Au revoir monsieur Rachier Merci. and once again thank you very much Please come again for visiting or um, being on Arocho live Good thank you and please do come again Maxi Yes Now, don't, don't, I, don't, don't mistake this handshake No <laughs> <laughs> this is a normal handshake. It's a normal handshake, yeah. <laughs> Na mtazamaji asanteni sana kuweza kuitizama uh, Arocho Live. Tuwakushukuru sana kwa kuweza kukaa nasi kwa wale ambao wamekuwa nasi. Kikosi cha uh, Arocho Live kina Vuto Nyunyu na shukuru wote wakiongozwa na Ken Hima na muona pia uh, Agresai mkuu katika uh, kampuni na mauzo upande ule mwingine. Na kumbuka kwamba haya yote ambayo yamesemwa katika kipindi hii Haya usiani kwa vyovyote vile na mdamin wa matangazo haya. Hadi wakati mwingine na kushukuru sana na kuwa na usiku sio kuwa na bugda, usiku sio kuwa na tafash, usiku sio kuwa na mushkil. Sablagia. <tos>